many children do you have? Four. Okay. How many boys? How many girls? Two boys and two girls. All right. Now I'm going to ask you questions about your criminal background, but these are just questions. This doesn't mean that you are a criminal. Do you understand this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you ever been involved with a terrorist group? No. Can you tell me what is a terrorist? Um, bad people. Bad people that attack the government. Okay. Let me give you an example. For example, what is a terrorist? You can say Osama bin Laden. Oh, okay. Okay. Have you ever been involved with a communist group? No. Can you tell me what is communism? Um, no freedom. No freedom. Like Cuba, for example, okay. Cuba. Okay. Have you ever been involved in a kidnap? No. Have you ever lied to an immigration officer? No. Have you ever been arrested since you became a U.S. resident? No. Have you ever been in the army? No. Have you ever received any kind of weapons training? No. Can you tell me what is a weapon? A uh, gun. A gun? It's correct. Okay. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes. Do you understand the Oath of Allegiance? Are you willing to take the Oath of Allegiance? Mm -hmm. Are you willing to perform non-combatant services for the United States Armed Forces? Yes. Okay. Let's go to the second part of this exam. I'm going to ask you 10 questions about the U.S. history and government. Out of these 10 questions, you have to have at least six correct. Do you understand this? Okay. My first question is, can you tell me how many amendments does the Constitution have? 27. 27 is correct. Next question. Can you tell me what are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? Um, the Senate and House of Representatives. The Senate and the House of Representatives is correct. Next question. In what month do we vote for president? Uh, November. Correct. Next question. Can you tell me what is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. The Supreme Court is correct. Next question. Can you tell me what is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives? Mike Johnson. Mike Johnson is correct. Next question. Can you tell me what is one reason colonists came to America? Um, for freedom. Freedom is correct. At this point, you have six questions correct. So now, I'm going to ask you to write a sentence. And then I'm going to ask you to read it out loud. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. The sentence I want you to write is, Independence Day is in July. Independence Day is in July. Can you read it out loud? Independence Day is in July. That's it. Independence Day is in July, and I have to inform you that you passed your citizenship exam. Así va a ser su son and one biological daughter. Okay. Have you ever been involved with a terrorist group? No. Have you ever been involved with a communist group? No. Have you ever been involved in a prostitution service? No. Have you ever lied to an immigration officer? No. Have you ever been arrested since you became a U.S. resident? No. Have you ever been in the army? No. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes. Do you understand the Oath of Allegiance? Yes. Are you willing to take the Oath of Allegiance? Yes. Are you willing to perform work of national importance? Yes. Okay, let's go to the second part of this exam. Okay. I'm gonna ask you 10 questions about the US history and government. Okay. Out of these 10 questions, you have to have at least six correct. Okay. Do you understand this? Yes. My first question is, can you tell me when do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. July 4th is correct. Next question. What ocean is in the west coast of the United States? Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean is correct. Next question. Can you tell me who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. Woodrow Wilson is correct. 
Next question. Can you tell me who is the father of our country? George Washington. George Washington is correct. Next question. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? American Indians. American Indians is correct. Next question. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? To serve a jury. To serve a jury is correct. At this point, you have six questions correct. So now, I'm gonna ask you to write a sentence. Okay. And then I'm gonna ask you to read it out loud. Are you ready? Yes. The sentence I want you to write is, Flag Day is in June. Flag Day is in June. Flag Day is in June. Can you read it out loud? Flag Day is in June. Let me see. Flag Day is in June, and this is correct. You are passing your citizenship exam. Have you ever been arrested since you became a U.S. resident? No. Have you ever been in the army? No. Have you ever received any kind of weapons training? No. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes. Do you understand the Oath of Allegiance? Yes. Are you willing to take the Oath of Allegiance? Yes. Are you willing to perform work of national importance? Yes. Okay, let's go to the second part of this exam. I'm gonna ask you 10 questions about the US history and government. Mm -hmm. Out of these 10 questions, you have to have at least six correct. Yes. Okay? My first question is, can you tell me when do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. July 4th is correct. Next question. What ocean is in the west coast of the United States? Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean is correct. Next question. Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. Woodrow Wilson is correct. Next question. Can you tell me who is the father of our country? George Washington. George Washington is correct. Next question. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? American Indians. Correct. Next question. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? To vote. To vote is correct. At this point, you have six questions correct. Now, I'm gonna ask you to write a sentence. And then I'm gonna ask you to read it out loud. Are you ready? Yes. The sentence I want you to write is Flag Day is in June. Flag Day is in June. Okay, can you read it out loud? Flag Day is in June. Let me see. Flag day is in June, and this is correct. At this point, I have to tell you that you passed your citizenship exam. Así va a ser su Not combatant services for the United States Armed Forces. Yes. Okay? Let's go now to the second part of this exam. I'm going to ask you 10 questions about the U.S. history in government. Out of these 10 questions, you have to have at least six correct. Okay. Do you understand this? Yes, I do. Yes. My first question is, can you tell me where is the Statue of Liberty? Uh, New York Harbor. New York Harbor is correct. Next question. Can you tell me what did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Uh, free the slaves. That is not correct. Martin Luther King oh, Jr. Oh, Martin Luther King Jr. Fought for civil rights. He fought for civil rights. He fought that for is, civil rights. That is correct. Yes. Next question. Can you tell me what was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Fought for civil rights. 
No, that was my first. It, it was a, it was a, it was a, a, mm -hmm. a, 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 a free the slaves. Free the slaves is correct. Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. Next question. Can you tell me what happened at the Constitutional Convention? What happened at the, the Constitution was written. The Constitution was written is correct. Next question. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? You don't remember? No, I don't. Vote and join a political party. Es que yo me lo sé de otra manera. That works. Okay. Next question. Okay. Ser serve in a jury, también es respuesta es servir en un jurado. Serve in a jury, mm -hmm. okay. Next question. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Um, democratic? democratic? Mm -hmm. Democratic. Democratic and Republican. And Republican. That is correct. Next question. Can you tell me what does the president's cabinet do? Um, what does the president's cabinet do? Sets up the government? Mm -hmm. Review laws? No. Not, not, not what was the question? What does the president's cabinet do? Uh, advises, advises the, the president. president. Don't worry, let's keep going. No, no, no. <laughs> Can you tell me why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because they have more people. Because they have more people, that is correct. At this point, you have six questions, correct? So now, I'm going to ask you <laughs> to write a sentence. Okay. And then I'm going to ask you to read it Pero out loud. Dos, 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 dos. Okay. The sentence I want you to write is, the United States is a free country. The United States is a free country. Can you read it out loud? Yes. The United States is a free our country. Can, country. Let me see. The United States is a free country. And this is correct. At this point, I have to tell you that you passed your citizenship. Thank you. Está muy bien. Está muy bien. Do you have any children? No. Okay. Have you ever been involved with a terrorist group? No. Have you ever been involved with a communist group? No. Have you ever been involved in a prostitution service? No. Have you ever lied to an immigration officer? No. Have you ever been arrested since you became a U.S. resident? No. Have you ever been in the army? No. Have you ever received any kind of weapons training? ¿Alguna vez has recibido entrenamiento de uso de armas? No. Acuérdate que las have you ever todas son. No. Have you ever received any kind of weapons training? Con las have you ever todas son cierto. No. Okay. Nunca has recibido entrenamiento de uso de armas. No. Okay. Do you support the Constitution in form of government of the United States? Yes. Do you understand the oath of allegiance? Yes. Are you willing to take the oath of allegiance? Yes. Are you willing to perform work of national importance? Naturalmente. ¿Estarías dispuesto a realizar trabajos de importancia de seguridad nacional? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's go to the second part of this exam. I'm going to ask you 10 questions about the U.S. history and government. Out of these 10 questions, you have to have at least six correct. Okay. Do you understand this? Yes. My first question is, can you tell me what is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. The Star Spangled Banner is correct. Next question. 
Can you name one of the two longest rivers in the United States? Mississippi River. Mississippi River is correct. Next question. Can you name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s? Vietnam War. The Vietnam War is correct. Next question. Can you tell me what is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? U.S. diplomat. U.S. diplomat is correct. Next question. What is one reason colonists came to America? Economic opportunity. Economic opportunity is correct. Next question. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Can you describe one of them? And citizen can vote, woman and men can vote. Woman and men can vote is correct. At this point, you have six questions correct. So now, I'm going to ask you to write a sentence. And then I'm going to ask you to read it out loud. Are you ready? Yes. The sentence I want you to write is, the colors of our flag are red, white, and blue. The colors of our flag are red, white, and blue. Can you read it out loud? The color of our flag are red, white, and blue. Yeah. Let me see. The colors of our flag are red, white, and blue, and this is correct. At this point, I have to tell you that you passed your citizenship exam. Así va a ser el examen. Está muy bien. No se confíen si repasamos. There were 13 original states. Can you name three? New Hampshire, New York, Virginia, New Jersey. New Hampshire, New York, and New Jersey are correct. Next question. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older. Correct. Next question. Can you tell me the capital of Arizona? Phoenix. Phoenix is correct. At this point, you have six questions correct. So now I'm going to ask you to write a sentence. And then I'm going to ask you to read it out loud. Are you ready? Yes, I am. The sentence I want you to write is, Flag Day is in June. Flag Day is in June. Can you read it out loud? Flag Day is in June. Can you see? Flag Day is in June, and this is correct. At this point, I have to tell you that you passed your citizenship exam. Así va a ser de sencillo, de, de rápido. Estás muy bien. Estás muy bien preparado. Este, no se confíe. No, no. Okay. The United States. Do you understand the oath of allegiance? Yes. Are you willing to take the oath of allegiance? Yes. Are you willing to perform non-combatant services for the United States Armed Forces? Okay, let's go to the second part of this exam. I'm going to ask you 10 questions about the U.S. history and government. Out of these 10 questions, you have to have at least six correct. Do you understand this? Yes. Okay, my first question is, can you tell me what is an amendment? A change to the Constitution, that is correct. Next question. Can you tell me who is in charge of the executive branch? Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president is correct. Next question. Can you tell me why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because they have more people. Because they have more people is correct. 
Next question. Can you tell me who signs bills to become laws? Who signs bills to become laws? The president is correct. Next question. Can you tell me what is the capital of Arizona? Phoenix, Phoenix is correct. Next question. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older. 18 and older is correct. At this point, you have six questions correct. So now, I'm gonna ask you to write a sentence. And then I'm gonna ask you to read it out loud. Le voy a pedir que escriba una oración y luego que la leamos a Okay? Are you ready? Yes. The sentence I want you to write is, citizens can vote. Can you repeat yes. one more time, please? Citizens can vote. Citizens can vote. Can you read it out loud? Sure. See? Si. Citizens can vote. Okay, let me see. Citizens can vote.